Your hospital stay after surgery will be short. Some people find the first few days of recovery at home challenging. The most challenging part of my first few weeks of my recovery was managing my own expectations. So um, I think even in the first week or two, I found that I was pushing myself maybe a little bit too hard. Um, and I found that um, luckily in those first few weeks, the symptoms will tell you when you should back off and when you can push yourself a little bit. So I was trying to find my way. I went in, the surgery was at 10.30, and then I left, I was discharged around two o'clock the next day. A mixed feelings because I thought maybe they should have kept me in one more night, but I was fine with it, it, was, it worked out fine. You know, I was operated on at five o'clock on Friday evening and I was home in bed at, at 5 p.m. on Saturday, which I think is where you should be. You should be in bed and not so much in the hospital. One of the most challenging things was basically getting used to movements, um, climbing stairs, things like that, that uh, before I had my operation I just took for granted. Afterwards it was a lot more difficult. The most challenging parts in the first few weeks um, I think is uh, pain management, um, rest, and, um, and the exercise part of it. And when I say rest, I mean it's extremely difficult for the first few weeks to try and get comfortable in bed when you're supposed to be in bed as a, a normal person. Um, so you just have to learn to sleep when you can sleep, if that's in the daytime or the nighttime. And, and don't get upset over the fact. Um, you get as much rest as you can. One big surprise for me was that uh, the fact of getting in and out of bed, something that you take for granted, uh, was actually difficult. Getting positioned and comfortable in bed was difficult and, and having a, a, a simple stretch strap or a loop to hook underneath my foot to help move my leg was definitely a helpful thing for me. Getting settled, getting comfortable in bed, being able to move my limb, and that's like probably the first two or three days that, that was like the, the biggest problem for me. Mentally, everything was an effort, and sometimes it just seems to it seems to just get to me personally. I was frustrated, I think, with having to do so many things and how difficult it was at times to do, to do them. You will be using a walking aid for a period of time after your surgery. How long you need a walking aid for can be quite different from one person to the next. I used forearm crutches um, from day one through till I used no gate aid at all. Um, and I, I purchased them ahead of time. I got used to how they um, worked. My first stand after the operation was with a walker, but thereafter I used forearm crutches. Um, gate aids in the home, I stopped using crutches entirely by three weeks. Um, and I kept using the crutches outdoors probably up until like 12 to 14 weeks. And that, that was mainly because I was in the autumn to winter with lots of slimy leaves and, and stuff. Since uh, the operation for the last three months, I used the walker. I'm still using it today. I probably used the walker for the first two weeks. And then I went to the poles. I didn't use crutches at all. Um, I'm, I'm 59 and I have never used crutches in my life and I knew that they're a lot more difficult than they look. Well, I used a walker briefly, more the first time than the second time. The second time I moved to a cane relatively quickly, like within a day or two, and didn't even need a cane by the end of a week. What does surprise me after this long is that I'm not more fluid in my walking. I'm not experiencing no pain at all. I still have a ways to go and I'm fatigued all the time. And I guess I knew that was going to happen, so I was warned. But until you experience it, it takes you by surprise at just how exhausted you are all the time. It is important to manage your pain after surgery so that you can be active. Different people need different amounts of pain medication. Using ice and movement exercises can also help to manage pain. I take one pain medication 
constantly. Uh, I'm still taking it. Um, and I, they're just beginning a program to wean me off that medication. I never took any uh, high medication, just Tylenol once in a while, but not that often. Pain management, um, the first time around I, I sort of prescribed my own pain management uh, intervals instead of actually taking them when I was supposed to and the doctor told me. Um, this time around I took the exact amount at the exact time and um, it was a lot better this time around as far as the pain management goes. I used them scheduled so I kind of took the advice of the medical team who gave me the information around um, you know, not taking them sporadically, taking them regularly, making sure that I didn't get behind on pain medications, and that enabled me to maintain quality of movement and positioning and rest throughout, you know, the sort of 24-hour period, and then just weaning down on a schedule. I have a nice machine at home, and the ice help a lot. Uh, every hour, every hour and a half, when the, the pain gets, if I walk, you know, too much, if I do things in the house, I need to relax a little bit and put ice in my knee. Yeah, I have a, a, one of the air casts, the, the machines that you buy, they put the ice in, and, and this one actually has a pump, so it circulates the cold water around the knee, and I think that's absolute must. So learning how to contract the muscles around my hip prior to the operation was actually a useful thing for me to do, because I found it to be really, really nice um, a uh, nice adjunct to my pain control when I was like at night time when my leg was trapped under covers and I could still contract muscles and that took some pain away. Now I'm not always thinking of the pain because yes it's here but I know it's going to dissipate. It's going to eventually go away. The other pain, the pain that I had before the surgery was here with me for life. So there's a clarity of thought, there's a hopefulness that I didn't have before, I can actually expand my life again because it shrunk really small. You will slowly progress your activity and do specific exercises to increase movement of the joint and build strength. So in the first uh, short period after surgery, you can't do a lot. You're just moving in basic ways. You're going to be walking upstairs and you'll be going to and from the bathroom or the kitchen or what have you. And then bit by bit, you'll be able to walk more normally and as soon as possible, you'll get back into whatever normal activities are for you. And I think the most important thing um, is to do the exercises, do them as quickly as possible. When I say quickly, as soon as you can, uh, you know, start functioning again and stick to it and then uh, come to, to do the follow-up therapy and be very, very serious about it because I've talked to people who haven't and they've never gained um, their knee back to where the position that it should be. And I think that is the most important thing that anybody can do. In physiotherapy, I'm doing the bed exercise, knee stretching exercises, getting my range of bending and straightening uh, to a, a proper level. And when I come for therapy, what they say, I do it home, it's okay. I exercise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day what they tell me, I do it. Every exercise and do, the thing is good now. And the exercises, I can't emphasize that enough. The, the stick to the regime that you got. Uh, they give you papers before you leave the hospital and what you're supposed to do and how often. And, um, and I did those regularly because uh, the more you do that, the easier this process becomes and, and you, you get yourself back quicker. Over time, you will start to move more easily, have less pain, and start to return to your regular activities. At this point in my recovery, what has improved is my walking. I was just walking downstairs and I, what I noticed was I can walk downstairs. I complain about my fatigue, but it is getting better. Every day, my um, energy level is a little bit better than the day before. And the exercises that I do, they're just a little bit easier, which means that I can push myself a little more and that's a good thing too. After two months, you'll be okay. I walk better because at home I don't use anything and I have a long corridor and I do the walking back and forth and it's much better. I was in pain all the time before the operation, so. After I built up my endurance, um, I could walk up to a kilometer um, by week four uh, without negative consequences. <laughs> you know, I resumed work at eight weeks. 
getting back to the walking that I enjoy, getting back to urban hiking, so walking 10 to 15 kilometers without ill consequences was around three, three to four months. I have been resuming cycling. I've been back uh, riding bikes with my dad and with my son. Fabulous to have a variety of choices again in my life. Uh, next month, and it'll be July, I'm going to go on a, a long distance 200 mile walk. So um, that shows you how good the program is.